My name is Matt Bailey-Smith, I'm uh, a reader in the Department of Social Sciences and I'm also a director of the Northumbria Centre for International Development. And this centre is a new centre we've set up uh, bringing together academics from across the social sciences but also involving people from the arts, involving history, all of whom are concerned with the experiences of communities who are, whose lives are shaped by significant inequality and poverty, both at a local but also a global scale but also then a concern with the strategies that we can work to devise that do something about poverty and inequality. And so it's a centre which is both about academic scholarship, but we have a really strong sense of engagement with how we can work to try and do something about experiences of global poverty and inequality. So that means bringing together a whole set of um, disparate themes, issues around environmental governance, issues around NGOs and civil society, issues around cosmopolitanism and mobility, and trying to kind of work across these different themes. And all of us work in kind of different areas and we work across themes, we work in different partnerships. And the idea behind it, I suppose, was to try and really bring together some of the big key contemporary debates shaping development, particularly shaping the contemporary development landscape. And one of the key features of our centre is that we do not accept the kind of simple delineation of North and South and the simple de delineations that have shaped how aid and development policy has run since the kind of 1940s and actually before that in colonial times. What we're very committed to doing is trying to understand how the development landscape is changing, how people are experiencing that differently, how that's shaping livelihoods, how that's shaping patterns of citizenship, and in a sense to really try and get to grips and, and work together to try and understand this really kind of exciting but shifting landscape. And what we have, as well as a kind of programme of research, is that we also have a teaching programme. We have a really successful Masters in International Development, which is recruiting students internationally. And you have a really kind of exciting dynamic group, and it's really good to be bringing together that group with us as a group of scholars to really try and kind of move some debates forward and really try and get some kind of exciting conversations going.